Hello everyone, my name is Jose Puente and I'm going to talk to you about Costco Wholesale Corporation, known by most as just Costco. I am a very big fan of Costco. To me, shopping at Costco is a unique experience that makes every visit pleasurable. I've been going to Costco stores since I was a little kid and I don't see that changing in the future. So let's get started. Okay guys, we're going to start with some brief history of the company. Costco can trace its origins all the way back to 1976 with the opening of the first prize club in San Diego and in 1983 with the opening of Costco in Seattle by Jeffrey Broadman and James Senegal. These two companies merged in 1993 to create Price slash Costco. There was a name change in 1997 to Costco companies and then in 1999 to the name it currently holds. Next, we head to Costco's vision, mission, and values. Costco has a very straightforward vision that was created by its founders and is still used today. I'm going to read it to you word for word from the company website, and I quote, Costco's mission is to continually provide our members with quality goods and services at the lowest possible prices, end quote. Costco has a code of ethics that they believe will help them accomplish their mission. A quick overview of their code of ethics includes obeying the law, taking care of their members and employees, and respecting their vendors. Costco's ultimate goal is to reward all their stakeholders. Here we have the leadership of Costco Wholesale Corporation. Before I start saying names, I'm probably going to butcher some of the names, so excuse me beforehand. We start with the CEO, Craig Jenlinick, the CFO, Ricard Galanti, Lastly, we have the five COOs of the company. Each COO is responsible for a geographic region except for one. Jim Clower is responsible for the Northern Division. Russ Miller is responsible for the Southwest and Mexico Division. James Murphy is responsible for the International Division. Joseph Portera is responsible for the Eastern and Canadian Division. The exception is Ron Vacris, who is responsible for the merchandising division. Costco Wholesale Corporation know who their stakeholders are. They include their employees, customers, investors, and communities. Most are self-explanatory except for one. That is communities. And I'll give you more detail on what they mean by communities. To Costco, Communities include communities in which they are doing business in, the communities that their employees live in, and the communities of their suppliers. Before we move on, keep in mind that the order that the stakeholders are in. Costco Wholesale Corporation has a marketing mix that helps it support its place in global retail. Its marketing mix is known as the four P's. We start with the product mix. Costco continuously diversifies its products and services over the years. Next, we have place slash distribution mix. Costco uses warehouse stores, an online store, and mobile app to sell its products to customers. For Costco's promotional mix, they use sales promotion, direct marketing, personal selling, and public relations to communicate with its target customers. Lastly, Costco's pricing mix slash strategy is to give big discounts on products by selling in bulk. Now we jump into global marketing. Something that is very interesting about Costco is that it does not run advertisements. They believe that their customers and employees do enough advertising for the company by word of mouth. Costco went international in 2013 and now has over 200 stores in eight countries. Two-thirds of the products offered in foreign stores come from that same country. It helps Costco adapt to different social culture environments, which is a big hurdle that companies have to go through when expanding abroad. Costco's corporate social responsibility efforts are directed in addressing the interests of its stakeholders. Like I said in a previous slide, pay attention to the order in which stakeholders are in. Costco has a hierarchy of which stakeholders hold more importance to the company. However, Costco tries its best to do something for each stakeholder. For example, Costco tries to satisfy the interests of the employees 
with different policies and programs. Costco Wholesale Corporation is a very active in corporate social initiatives. Two areas in which Costco is very focused on is the environment and human rights. Let's start with the environment. Costco understands the importance of honeybees to the environment and the harm that beef production has on the environment. So it started the two programs that you see on the screen. Next, Costco wants to make sure that itself is following their code of ethics and the people that they work with treat their employees right. Costco's charitable efforts focus on supporting children, education, human and health services, and the communities they do business in. People are able to apply for donations from the company. However, there are some requirements that need to be met in order to get the donations. A notable donation that the company has made was in 2017 to the Children's National Health System for $25 million. The donation was made in order to help pay for the children's medical bills. Thank you guys for watching my presentation. I had fun doing the research and making the presentation. I hope that you enjoyed it as well and that you were able to learn something from it. That is it for me and thanks again for watching. I hope that you are well.